Hai dan Assalamualaikum semua Nama saya Nurdia Bakisha binti Ahmad Zaidi Pada hari ini saya akan menyediakan sebuah eksperimen yang diberi nama Lava Lamp dan amat berkait rapat dalam materials engineering Bahan yang perlu ada untuk menyediakan eksperimen ini adalah 2 per 3 air dalam sebuah bekas Minyak serta garam. Pertama sekali, di dalam bekas yang sudah tersedia 2 per 3 air, letakkan minyak yang memang tak akan tercampur dengan air. Seperti yang dilihat, minyak dan air tidak dapat bercampur kerana sifat kimia kedua-dua jenis cecair ini yang tersendiri. Kemudian, Garam akan diletakkan ke dalam campuran air dan minyak untuk dilihat apa yang terjadi. Pada asalnya, lava lamp bukanlah untuk mencerahkan sesuatu kawasan atau keadaan. Ianya hanyalah untuk menciptakan suasana tertentu. Bagaimanakah yang demikian berlaku? Apabila minyak dan air bersatu, minyak kurang tumpat daripada air menyebabkan ia terapung di permukaan air. Apabila garam diletakkan, minyak akan melekat pada garam menjadikan ketumpatannya agak tinggi dan tenggelam ke dasar air. Apabila garam larut di dasar air, minyak akan naik semula ke permukaan kerana ketumpatannya semakin berkurang. The second activity called Dust and Orange Blood. This activity was also a part of materials engineering. The ingredients that we need is a jar that filled with water and an orange. So, what we need to do is we need to put the orange inside the jar that filled with water and see what gonna happen. Orange peel contains small air pocket that allows it to be fluid. Then, you have to peel your orange carefully. When the orange doesn't longer have any peels, put it inside the jar that fill with water again. See the difference? Why does that happen? It is because when the peels are gone, the small air pockets are also gone. So, when you put inside this, the orange will automatically sink because it is denser than the water. So, for the next activity, we'll be making a binary necklace representing my initials D H I Y A. So this activity is a part of cyber security engineering. So for this activity, we need a string or tree and some bits representing your initials. So with this code, I will arrange the bits using the initials of my name. So this is the code representing initial D. This is the code represent initials D and H. Then this is representation code of D, H and I. This code 
represent initials D H I N Y. And finally, all the initials of my name is complete with this code, D H I Y N A. Next, I will be making a balloon tower that is a part of civil engineering. What you need for this activity is cellotape and round balloon. So for this activity, I have to make the tower as stable as it can. Then. Count the cost and the minus by the height. Make sure I didn't get a negative answer. If I get a negative answer, that means I spent too much on the tower. So the height of the tower is 70 cm. While the overall cost is 16 ringgit Malaysia. When we minus the cost by the height, we will get 54 as the score, which means I'm not spending too much on the tower. The fifth activity called a parachute. This activity is a part of aeronautical engineering. All we need for this activity is microwave polystyrene and a bubble wrap string and tape, and don't forget garbage bag or plastic to secure your egg bubble wrap it carefully after that put it inside the polystyrene cup make sure it fit well Then, using your scissor, cut your garbage bag or plastic into a square shape. Then, make a hole on every inch of the square garbage or plastic bag. Then, cut the strings and put it inside the hole of the garbage bag or plastic make it like this and then these two make sure to tape it with the polystyrene cup repeat the same process for the other three each then our egg parachute is finally done next We'll be making an oil spill cleanup experiment that is a part of environmental engineering. For this activity, you will need some oil, some water in a tray, a rock, cotton buds or cotton pad, soap, and a powder. For the first step, you have to spill the oil at the rock and see what gonna happen as you can see oil spill might happen there so our mission is to clean the oil spill try to use cotton pads or cotton buds first since it can absorb the oil so the oil spill will automatically clean then try to use some soap and as you can see the result is the oil will go away from each other. So the oil spill can be cleaned up. Lastly, try to use the powder on the oil spill. This can help because the powder can absorb the oil then got denser to the water. Aktiviti terakhir adalah gunung berapi meletus yang berkait rapat dengan chemical engineering. Aktiviti ini memerlukan cuka, air yang telah diisi dengan sabun dalam sebuah botol dan soda bicarbonat. 
Langkah pertama, di dalam botol yang telah diisi air dan sabun, letakkan soda bikarbonat dan lihat apa yang akan terjadi. Langkah seterusnya, letakkan cuka ke dalam campuran itu tadi. Dan akhirnya, letusan akan berlaku hasil daripada campuran cuka, soda bikarbonat, sabun dan air itu tadi.